Welcome to Reread. Today I have three kind of comp books here. Uh, three short stories I definitely want to talk about. The first one is Jabba's Palace pop-up book. Yep, and this is actually a bigger read than I remember. And there's not that many pop-ups in it either. It's about Jubinuk, who is a uh, Gamorian who is tasked to find Jabba's magic talson. And so he's trying to go around the whole palace wondering where it is. Um, he's the Gamorian that accidentally falls into the pit with Luke Skywalker and he gets, you know, he's, whee! he's trying to get away, but the Rancor, eat, you know, well, he sees him, grabs him, eats him, and then slips up his hand. Okay, so you think he's dead. Well, the big thing about this was Kevin J. Anderson kept him alive because he says the Gamorian just ate him whole, just swallowed him whole. So when the Rancor died, someone heard him rumbling around inside his stomach, cut it open, and he popped out. And guess what? The talisman that Jabba lost, it fell into the Rancor pit and the Rancor ate it. So he comes out with the talisman. But then he finds out that Jabba's dead now later because he waits to, for Jabba to come back from the sail barge, but Jabba's dead now. So he figures he'll keep it because maybe it'll make him lucky. It's not a bad story. The artwork is really good. It's written, by, I believe, by Kevin J. Anderson. So it's actually a really good book. Uh, the next one, not so good, from Star Wars Tales 6. It's called Fortune, Fate, and the Natural History of the Sarlacc. The sarlacc spawns another sarlacc plant, I guess. It, it burps out a little ringy mini sarlacc that attaches itself to a dewback and then gets onto here and gets on there, gets into the ground, and then somehow goes, goes back into the regular sarlacc at the end. And just like Tails, it's completely garbage and makes zero sense. Uh, the next one is from Visionaries. <laughs> it's called Entrenched. I, I have totally forgotten about this one. This one's beautiful. The artwork is great. Basically... As, uh, someone recounts their Battle of Hoth. You're thinking, wait, this should be in Episode 2, right? I mean, uh, an, an Empire Strikes Back. But he's recounting the Battle of Hoth in the trenches. It shows the landing party with all the AT-ATs and the Stormtroopers and the ATSTs getting out. That image is really cool. It shows them battling in the trenches, Hoth trenches on the ground, which is awesome. It shows them going through the base and taking out... He takes out a snow trooper with an ice, uh, ice, uh, icicle. He snaps the icicle out and then jams it, you know, Die Hard 2 style, into the uh, visor of the snow trooper. He's the one that gives the announcement that we hear on the movie, Imperial troops have entered the base. Imperial troops have entered the base. And it does that because that's when he gets bum rushed by a snow trooper. Um, they encounter uh, Darth Vader, he and someone else do, and he's making a message the whole time to his mom. He's making a message to his mom about what happened. Well, then he gives the uh, message to his friend because he gets, he gets hurt and he can't run. He went, save yourself. Well, Darth Vader sees him. It was after the Millennium Falcon has escaped. He turns around, grabs him, lifts him up in the air with a force, and he goes, tell me where they're headed. Tell me where your base is. Tell me, he's like, I'll never tell you anything. And so then it shows his shadow. Uh, basically, the whole thing is bending back. and it's, It looks like something out of The Exorcist. It's bending back. You hear a, a big crack because, I mean, Darth Vader just crushes him. It's pretty brutal. And then you fast forward to Return of the Jedi. Mon Mothma receives a very late message from her son. And it took a long time to get to her because the guy had trouble finding where the rebels were, reconnecting with the rebels to give the Hola recording to Mon Mothma. So it was her son the whole time that she was watching the video. And it's right before she's about to give her speech in the movie. So it's really good. I mean, Entrenched is one of the best things Visionaries has. I was very impressed by this short story absolutely loved it. All right, folks, that's it for now. See you next time.